For MSO New Sports, I'm Tim Kearns, and this is Panther Preview, brought to you by the Gloria Food Store, 268 Rantoul Street in Beverly. Joining me once again, as he does every week during the football season, is Beverly head coach Jeff Hutton. Hey, Tim, uh, how are we doing? Good. Uh, big challenge this week. Uh, a team that's hungry for a win like you guys are. Uh, that you got, you're going there uh, to Daring Stadium in Danvers to take on the uh, Danvers Falcons. Yeah, I mean, it's league play now. Like, they throw all the records out. Like, uh, you know, we had some opportunities in a couple weeks ago to get us close to 500, if not over 500. And now they're in the same boat as us. One and three, one and three. Lost three games in a row after hitting the first win of the season. And, you know, it's who's going to show up and who's going to be more physical. And we haven't done that yet. It's been a while since we played a physical brand of football ourselves. So I'm, I'm hoping we're, we're ready to rise to the challenge. A little strange to be saying Dam is one and three at this point in the season. Yeah, I mean, Coach Nolan's done a great job over there, and but they play some big dogs. They played Reading, they played Tewksbury. I mean, those are some good traditional football teams, so they're not shying away from anybody. You know, that can be a bad thing, but it all can be a very good thing, taking on uh, teams upper in the division, teams that are bigger, uh, teams that are going to uh, come at you with uh, more people on the sidelines, and that really does prepare you for the second half of the season. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we kind of got backfired on us. You know, we played the, the Haverhill and then North Andover, and we kind of got dinged up a little bit. So, yeah, it, it can work for you, but it can also uh, bite you in the rear end like it did for us. You know, looking back to the 2010 season, uh, Beverly didn't start out well that particular season, then ran the table in league play, and then dropped to uh, uh, dropped the final game to Salem on Thanksgiving. But, again, ran the table in the playoffs and brought home a Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was lucky enough to be a part of that. And, you know, we kept telling the kids, just trust the process. Right? It was the first year with a new offensive system, you know, new kids here and there. We were trying to find the right combination. I think that's kind of what we're doing right now. Like, we shuffled some guys on the line. We got some guys back in the lineup that had been missing for a couple weeks. So we're, we're at a nice spot right now. We're kind of back to where we were during the preseason where we really felt good about our chances. So... Hope it translates. Uh, any changes we can expect to see, uh, either in terms of lineup or in terms of uh, play calling? Yeah, I, I think we, we, we really put an emphasis on just getting really good at the basics, right? We had to move some guys around, you know, from a strong tackle to a quick tackle. We moved the center, right, from tackle to center. So guys where we think they would be next year or in the future. I mean, we're at a point now where we might as well kind of turn the page and see what we got. And I think, uh, it, as you know, we emphasize the basics and the fundamentals. And let's get back to running our base plays. And let's get really good at a few things again. Okay, Coach. Uh, good luck on Friday night. And uh, we'll talk to you after the game. Thanks, Tim. All right, Coach.